Hello everyone, I am your host Ayushi Kara Setia and welcome back to our channel Pabli. In this video we are going to learn how you can send Facebook lead details to Asana automatically. So let's take an example that you are a business owner who has created a Facebook page to advertise your business and you are running Facebook lead ads on that page. Now you want that whenever any of your customer fills that Facebook lead ad form, automatically using the details of the form submission, a new task should get created into your Asana account. It should be assigned to a specific team members and even the details of the customer should also be shared with the specific team member so that he can work upon the details and the requirement of the customer. But here, the problem is that there is no direct connection between Facebook lead ad forms and Asana. So how is it is going to happen? For that, we are going to use a software application that is Pabli Connect. So basically, Pabli Connect is an automation and integration software which will help us in integrating Facebook lead ad forms with Asana automatically. The best part here is it doesn't require any coding skills or programming knowledge. Even a non-technical person can use this software application very easily. So how you can set up this automation? For that, you need to come to my screen. So welcome back to my screen. Here let us type P-A-B-B-L-Y, pabli.com in our browser. This is the website of Pabli. Here we have to come to products and click on Pabli Connect. This is the landing page of Pabli Connect. As you are the first time user, you have to click on sign up for free button and you can create your own account in just 2 minutes. By creating a new account, you are going to get 100 tasks free every month. As I already have an account with Pabli Connect, I will simply click on sign in. In the all apps section, come to Pabli Connect and click on access now. This is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here we have to create a workflow. For that, come to this plus sign and click on create workflow. Now here we have to give a name to the workflow. So let us give the name as send Facebook leads to Asana. Here you can give the workflow name as per your requirement and simply click on create. Now we can see a trigger window and an action window. So Pabli Connect works on the concept of trigger and action. Trigger means when this happens, action means do this. So in this particular use case, we want that whenever our customer fills their Facebook lead ad form, automatically the details of the customer should be shared with your team on your Asana. And a new task should get created. But for that, first we need to create a connection between our Facebook lead ads and our Pabli Connect. So just open this trigger window and choose the application name as Facebook Lead Ads. Select the trigger event as New Lead Instant. Click on Connect. Click on Add New Connection and click on Connect with Facebook Lead Ads. Authorization successful. And now the Facebook Lead Ads account is connected to Pabli Connect just because I was already logged into my Facebook account. So make sure before creating a connection, you are logged into your Facebook account. Now here we have to select our page name, the Facebook page name. So I'll just take you to my Facebook page. The page name is Pabli Tech. So I'll be selecting the same Facebook page name over here. That is Pabli Tech. Now we have to select the lead generation form. So the lead generation form which we are going to use is Pabli. So you have to select your lead generation form over here. Okay, now let's click on save and send test request. And here we can see that it is waiting for the webhook response. So in order to capture the response, we have to do a test submission. So I'll just take you to the lead generation form over here. Okay, so this is my Facebook Pabli Tech lead generation form. And now let us fill in the details on the name of a customer. Let's give the first name as demo, last name as name itself. Let's give the email address as demo at the rate pablitudes.com and here I am just going to enter the phone number of the customer. So I have added a random phone number. Okay, and now let's click on next and submit. Thanks, you are all set. Okay, now I come to back. Now let's back to. Now let's move back to Public Connect. And within some seconds, we can see that the details will be captured. Okay, and here we can see that all the details of the form submission are captured over here. We can find the created date and time. 
we can, when we scroll down, we can find the first name, we can find the last name, the email address, as well as the phone number of the customer. So now we want to share this lead details to our team on Asana. And a new task should get generated. For that, come to this action step. Choose the application name as Asana over here. Select the action event as create a task. Click on connect. Click on add new connection and click on connect with Asana. Authorization successful. And now the Asana account is connected to Pabli Connect just because I was already logged into my Asana account also. So make sure before creating a connection, you are logged into your Asana account. Now here it is asking for the workspace. In which workspace you want to send the task or you want to create a task. So here I am on my Asana homepage. Okay. And here you can see that the workspace name is marketing. So I have to select the same workspace name over here. You can select your workspace name over here. Now it is asking for the project. So here I'm be selecting the project as new task. Okay, you can see the project names over here. Okay, so I want the task to be created in new tasks. Okay, now here we have to give a name to the task. So let us give the name as new lead details. Okay, so this will be the task name. Here we have to give the notes, the description related to this particular task. So I'll be giving it as new lead received. And here, let us give the details of the customer. That is the name, his email address, and the contact number or the phone number. Okay. And here we'll be mapping the details of the customer that we have got from our trigger response over here. Okay. So let us map these details for mapping. Simply click it over here. Okay. And come to Facebook lead ads. And from here, let us map the name and the first name along with the first name, sorry, okay, along with the first name, let us map the last name also. Come to Facebook lead ads once again, and here let us map the last name. In the same way, we'll be mapping the email address. So let's come to Facebook lead ads and let us map the email address over here. And here we'll be mapping the phone number. Okay, so this was the phone number. So we have mapped all the details. So in this way, a new task will be generated and these will be the details of the task. Now here, if you want to mention due at or due on, either of these, you can select any of the one. Okay, it is also mentioned it should not be used together. So here I'm just specifying the due on date and here the date format is also required and the date should be in YY, MM and DD format. So let us give the date over here. Now here we have to select the assignee name. So let us assign this task to Gary. You can select the assignee name from here. You can even select the follower name. And here you can give the tags. So I don't want to give any tags over here. So I'm just clicking on this mapping button. And I'll just leave this field as blank to ignore this field. Okay. So we have entered all the details. And now let's click on save and send test request. Okay. And here we can see the response is received. It means a new task is created in our Asana account. Let's check it. Let's move to new task section over here. Okay, and here we can see that a new task is created over here, new lead details. Here we can find the assignee name as Gary and here we can find the due date. Let's open the details of the task. And here we can find the description, new lead received. Here we can find the name of the customer, his email address and the phone number. And in this way, our integration is working fine. So let's move back to Pabli Connect. And I'm just going to save this workflow first. Data saved successfully. Okay. Now let us check this in the real time that whether our integration is actually working fine or not. For that, I'll just move to the Facebook lead ad form once again. And here we are going to enter the details of a new lead. So let's give the first name as dummy. Last name as name itself. Let's enter the email address as dummy at the rate fablitudes.com. And here let us add the phone number. And now let's click on next and submit. Thanks, you're all set. So the form has been filled. Now let us check whether a new task is created in our Asana account or not. So let's move to Asana. Okay, I'm just going to close these details. Okay, and here we can see new lead details task is created over here. Assignee is Gary and here we can find the due date. Okay, 
and when we open the details we can find the description as new lead received here we can find the name as dummy name this time here we can find the email address and the phone number so in this way we can see that our integration is perfectly working fine now here i'll be giving you one important information that here we have specified the date okay and we have given the date manually so all the task due date will be the same over here if you want to specify the due dates separately then you have to map these details from date and time formatter or some, from somewhere else okay but if you are specifying it over here the dates will be fixed as you can see it over here the due date is same for both the leads that is september 22 and even the assignee name is also same okay so let's move back to pavli connect and i'll just minimize all these windows and let us see in a nutshell whatever we have done till now so first we have created an integration between facebook lead ads and pavli connect so that whenever the form is filled by the lead automatically the details are captured over here in pavli connect and then using the details of the form submission we have created a new task in our asana account and it is informed to the team that a new task has been created a new lead is received and they have to work on it and in this way we have created a successful integration between facebook lead ads and asana using pavli connect so not just these software applications you can integrate a ton of applications and automate your business using pavli connect in case of any queries you can visit our pavli forum to check the pricing details of pavli connect you can visit this particular url also the link of pavli connect and this workflow is available in the description box you can clone the same workflow into your account directly if you really like this video please comment share and subscribe thank you everyone